a bright star in the dark space mm, babe It never worked out with the others All we ever did was fight Bringing coffee in the car with an open mug is pretty risky for anybody but for me that spills everything this is kind of just not a good decision um as you can see how did i even spill it on here i have no idea and we're running late i don't have time to go in and change so i'm just gonna have coffee arm all day i should have known but you know live and learn but apparently i don't learn just live <laughs> lucy's at school yeah. yeah she is huh it's just a mommy and Stella day. Does that sound fun? Yeah. We just got done at Stella's speech appointment, although she actually doesn't do any speech right now in her appointments. It's all myofunctional therapy. I explained that in my last vlog, but it's just easier to say speech and it's at a speech place, so that's what we go with. In my last vlog, I said we were thinking about taking a couple weeks off from speech um, just while we waited to get her tongue tie re-released. Talking to her therapist, she's just starting to get more comfortable there, so it makes sense to keep going. And we're gonna work on doing more stretches and getting a little bit more strength in her jaw before we go straight for um, getting her tongue re-released. So anyway, that's what we did today. We had speech this morning, and now Stella and I are at Chipotle. You wanna go eat? <laughs> Here you want out? That is a big orange garbage truck. Uh, Isn't that cool? Yeah. And she did so great, so amazing, definitely the best she's done yet. I think this is our fourth week going. Fourth week? Your socks, yeah. She's definitely starting to open up. She followed all of the prompts and the directions. And I think I shared this this morning, but I spilled coffee right here. How does a person even spill coffee right there? I have no idea how I did that. It does not surprise me, I'm just confused. But anyway, I'm very hungry, I haven't eaten today. Oh, you need a shoe? Put them on so we can go eat. We're gonna run into Chipotle right now, 1111, make a wish. Um, I haven't eaten an empty bowl. Yep, it's all gone from your snack, huh? Um, I haven't eaten anything today and I'm really hungry. So we're gonna run into Chipotle, have some lunch, and then we are going to Costco because we need a lot of things. We're basically out of all our snacks. What? My, co my coffee fell? Yeah. That's okay, it's empty. Um, we need a lot of snacks. My coffee spilled? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, frizzy hair. We just need some things and we are in the general vicinity of Costco so we decided to go run and do that before we need to pick Lucy up from school, huh? Does that yeah. sound good? And then we have dance tonight. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Let's go have a day. Goodbye. Bye. Lunch time. This is a giant burrito bowl. Clean your hand. <laughs> we just got done at lunch. Stella ate a whole bunch of her food, so that's good. But something that's not good, these jeans that I'm wearing right now have four buttons instead of a zipper. And literally only the top one was buttoned and you could <laughs> You could see my underwear the whole time. And I have my shirt, it's worse, because I have my shirt tucked into my jeans. I don't know how or why that happened, but I definitely was flashing my underoos at Chipotle. But it's fine, hopefully I'll never see those people again. 11.45 and I need to be on the way home to pick up Lucy by like two at the very latest. So I'm kind of thinking we might stop at Target first just because I really need dish soap. Um, that's not enough reason to go to Target for dish soap, but I just kind of want to go to Target anyway. So I think we might do that first and then go to Costco. So that's the plan. Remember when I said that I was going to Target for dish soap? Well, I got dish soap and some other stuff. We are out of space. <laughs> Okay, we are done. I'm exhausted. Um, Costco's always a lot of work, 
But I'm glad I went. I needed to restock like all the stuff that I use for the girls' snacks or um, Lucy's lunches for school and just random stuff. It took me a lot longer than I planned. It was a zoo in there. It took so long to check out. 2.15 and I have to pick Lucy up at three and I'm almost an hour away from my house. So my mom is gonna pick Lucy up and I need to call Shane on the way home and see if he will um, take the girls to dance so I can get this all organized. When we get home, I'll do a haul, but I need to go grab gas really quick and then we're gonna hit the road. Gas is like 25 cents cheaper a gallon at Costco right now, which it's usually cheaper with your membership anyway. Significantly cheaper than gas stations around here and it's chaotic right now. Um, there's so many people. So we are waiting for our gas to get done pumping and the gas station attendant is staring at me being so weird. So I'm gonna stop looking at my camera now and that will be that. I'm home and I'm exhausted and I'm still wearing my coffee sweatshirt, but I figured I would show you what I got today. I'm gonna show you my Target haul first just because it's kind of random and there's not a lot of things. And then I will show you everything that I got at Costco, but Shane took the girls to dance, so I'm doing this in the peace and quiet. Kind of weird. The reason that I went to Target was for dish soap, so I just grabbed this dish soap. I got a new Scrub Mommy. I love these so much. Keep forgetting to grab them at the store. So I got another Scrub Mommy, and then I got a toilet bowl cleaner. That's where the list ended, and I went a little rogue, so I grabbed both girls these um, St. Patrick's Day socks. We just love their little $1 festive socks from the dollar spot. I picked up this light-up skip ball for Lucy's Easter basket, and it was $3. I thought she would like that. I didn't get Stella one. I possibly should have but I don't think she's gonna be able to figure this out yet I don't even know if Lucy's gonna be able to figure it out but for three dollars I figured we'd try it and then Target clearance got me but I have this in like a purpley color it was in my Disney haul and I loved this shirt I wore it to the airport and I almost got this color and I didn't and they had it on clearance for ten dollars today so I grabbed that I wear a medium and it's a cute shirt. And I don't know if this is gonna be the case at all Targets, but at the Target that I went to, they had this whole section at the front of the store and they had so much stuff on clearance and what it said on it was repackage. I don't know if things are getting rebranded or what, but these pillows were $5 originally. This one was originally $10 and this was originally 15 and they were both five but I picked these up to go along the back of the girls day bed that I ordered I thought These would be good to add to it and they were super inexpensive because pillows are outrageous sometimes And I found this little lamp from threshold and it was only six dollars Originally 12 to be cute on Shane's desk. He really needs a little lamp over there sometimes and Yeah for six dollars. I mean come on and the last thing I grabbed was this opal house um, Essential oil diffuser and I just thought it was cool. It's like blue looks like that um, and it was $7.50, originally $15. Then I might put this up in the playroom because the girls don't have a diffuser and sometimes they take mine up there and diffuse like lavender, you know, kid-friendly scents. If you want an oil diffuser around your kids, make sure you look up um, safe scents for kids. But I just thought this was cute. I branched out from getting like pink tones of everything, so. There you go, a random Target haul. I got all that stuff for like $42. A lamp, a diffuser, two pillows, a shirt, cleaning supplies, $42. That seems that seems like a steal. All right, this is everything that I got from Costco. I'll just start over here, I got this big package of blackberries. The girls love blackberries, so we go through those super quick. And then I got this big package of strawberries, this big box of Pirate's Booty. I don't think my kids have ever had this, but I decided to try it out. It was a really good price, and there's 40 in there, and I think it was only like $8. And then literally every time we go to Costco, I get this box of Z-Bars, the girls love them. Chocolate chip, iced oatmeal cookie, and chocolate brownie. And then I thought we would try these. The girls actually took two of them to dance tonight, but they're the real fruit yo-yos. I don't know, they just sounded pretty good. We got this big old container of animal crackers. This is gonna last us forever, but I figured for $10 and it's already in this package, that seemed like a good deal. Organic applesauce pouches. The girls like to have these as a snack sometimes and occasionally I put them in Lucy's lunchbox. And then this is another thing that we've never tried, but I thought would be good for a snack for Lucy at school. And they're just little um, granola balls, I guess. I don't know. Chocolate chip pouches and mixed berry pouches. So I don't know, but the ingredients were pretty good on the back. I felt good about them. And this is another thing that we get every time we go to Costco, the organic tortilla chips. This bag is ginormous, but we love tortilla chips and dip. So we will definitely use it. 
grabbed a two pack of spaghetti sauce just to have in the pantry for whenever we need easy quick meals. And then I love this ready-made section at Costco. I always grab a couple things whenever we're there. So I thought we'd try this Asian wrap. And we got these, which everyone talks about and I've never tried. So they're the chicken street tacos. And these definitely aren't cheap. I mean, that's $13 and that's 15 but it's still cheaper than eating out so let's get this big package of organic eggs we love eggs in our house and then i also get these every time at costco these are the siete almond flour um, tortillas i love these and i love these together to make um, breakfast tacos so we needed more of those and then these are just a few things for the freezer on easy dinner nights this is spinach and cheese ravioli these i've never tried they were expensive i think this was almost 20 dollars for this bag which sounds crazy but um everyone says they taste like chick-fil-a nuggets so i'm interested and we're gonna try those big bag of organic green beans just because it has a resealable top and stella loves green beans so i thought this would be good to have on hand and then i'm on a mexican street corn kick so when i saw this i knew i had to get it um, I love Mexican street corn. It's so good. The last couple things, we all love this guacamole. Lucy loves it in her lunch. I don't know how they get this guacamole to taste so good, but the ingredients are great in it, so I'm really confused how it doesn't go bad, but it doesn't, and we love them. Last thing is this white queso because we love dip. I just want to say that sometimes Costco can get you because they make you think that you're getting a good deal because you're getting something in bulk, but actually it's, it's really not that good of a deal at all. So I try to be mindful of that and kind of plan ahead on things that I know that I need, like strawberries. This was a good deal, and it's also a good deal because the girls go through strawberries like crazy, so we're gonna eat it. But if you're not gonna use the things in bulk, then there's no sense in buying more of it and just wasting your money. So if you're gonna start going to Costco, if you're not a Costco goer or like Sam's Club or anything like that, just try to plan ahead, maybe like look into the prices of some of the kids' snacks, like this stuff, I know is a good deal. Like these are significantly cheaper in bulk at Costco than they are like at Walmart. So I'm saying just do your research if you wanna save some money. Um, but I feel like $200 for all this stuff is pretty good. The only thing that I think I overpaid for are these like chicken nuggets. I hope they're good because I think they were like $19. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up. Okay, I'm up in the playroom. I'm getting ready to ride my spin bike. I've been trying to get back to spinning, so even if I spin for like 10, 15 minutes every day, it makes a difference. It all adds up. So I'm gonna do that, but I wanted to show you something because I'm confused and we're gonna figure it out together. I ordered a new bigger rug for up here in the playroom and I decided that I didn't wanna get any paint samples for up here until I saw what the rug looked like. Um, but I'm so confused because it came in this tiny box. I wanna take a little peek and then I'm saving everything playroom related for its own dedicated video. So I'm not gonna give you very many sneak peeks at all because I want it all to be just in that one video, but I am gonna open this rug. So let's see. It's really folded up, very small. Welcome to the fold. Yep, there it is. Oh, it's washable. I guess that's why I didn't even realize that it was a washable rug. That's actually really cute. I'm excited about it. I was so confused when it came all folded up but now it makes sense that it's washable. I'm gonna have to get a rug pad because obviously there's not a whole lot of padding under here, but that's to be expected with a washable rug. Cute, and it's kind of the vibe I'm going for, so I will link this for you guys um, if you're interested. It was really affordable, and you can put it in your washing machine, the more you know. Hopping on my spin bike, I'm listening to Atomic Habits again. I don't know if I actually finished it the last time, but Shane just reminded me of it and I decided I need to listen to it. So I'm gonna listen to that, spin for a little bit, and if this is not mom life, I've got some figurines over here, a unicorn, the stop monkeying around book, you know, whatever it takes. It's much later, I forgot to record when the girls got home from dance, but we just ate dinner and then I did the whole bedtime routine and the girls are asleep. It is 7.36, so I'd say that's a record. I don't think both girls have fallen asleep that early in a very long time, but I am gonna get in the shower. It's definitely a hair wash day. So I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.